Our key static admin UI is showing our collections and singletons, and why this is great? This might be a bit confusing to some non-technical content editors. Singletons is a bit of a weird word. I want to show you a way that you can create categories and name them however you want, organize your sidebar and dashboard layouts in something that might make more sense for a specific use case. In the key static config at the top level, so let's go after storage, I will reach for the UI options. And there's a few cosmetic and UX things we can do to our key static admin UI in here. Let's change the navigation. It's important to understand that once you define a custom navigation here, you take over the default behavior. So if I was to save this empty object like so, you can see that we've completely removed any of the content and nothing is showing anymore. And the idea here is to recreate the sort of taxonomy that you think makes sense for your project, but you need to make sure that you cover every bit of content that is generated by Keystudy. So let's say I want a writing section because we talk about blogs and authors, arguably writing related. I would have a writing key and inside of there, an array of singletons or collections that we want to list under that writing category. And you can see I get the suggestions of every possible collection or singleton. So let's add posts and let's add authors below there and try to guess what will show up in our admin UI. Correct, we have a writing category with our posts and authors. And let's say to make it dead simple for content editors to understand what it's for, have a footer links category, which has the social links singleton. So now we have our writing section and our footer links section. You may have noticed that there is also this triple dash special symbol that you can use if you want to create a divider. Let's put authors again and post again just to make it feel a bit more full. So obviously you would never do this where you have the same content twice, but just to demo this here, if you needed a category with a separator within the category, this is how you would do it. And it's pretty cool how the dashboard and the sidebar navigation follow this navigation UI settings. So let's go back to just posts and authors and we leave it at that. And this is arguably more useful for content editors. It really depends of who are the members on your team, what your sort of content structures are and so on.